Hello. So, um, if you're following along, day three of the journey, um, I'm definitely making the video. I'll post these in um, the You Matter Club and the School of Mastery in my body zone. And um, I'll also go deeper into that one section of fight, flight, or freeze and our adipose cells and how we hold on physical weight. Um, but on to my journey, since this is a glimpse into my own university, I guess, um, is this, I'm on day three. So I'm juicing, uh, the juice is still really great. I highly recommend that juice so far. I feel really nourished. I'm definitely going to make it at home for myself. Um, because shipping was a little bit much here. I I feel this absolute um, <laughs> gift that I decided to cleanse this way. I've had so many issues um, the last couple years um, fasting and juicing for my physical body. Um, it's totally backlash on me. And I've done um, mindset cleanses uh, like I'm doing with this and it's been like a belief windfall and crap and they've been really great but um, sometimes the stress of them can add to my body because my body will store some of those issues in my tissues and it doesn't have that total release to let it go that I'm giving it now and and the vibrational rays that I'm feeling is just um, incredible of course the the mindset work and allowing the beliefs to come up and allowing the feels to come up is something that's just like it's rocking my world and and what I've noticed for me especially with yesterday's if you watch that video if you haven't um, watch it and you'll understand this but um, yesterday's video with um, just really getting in touch with what what I'm naturally good at what I'm really gifted at and where I'm going with all of all of the gifts I've been given to know around trauma therapy um, is is just beautiful to I, I'm really blown away as I like work through my EFT as I as I see deeper the layers and I see clearer into myself um, the gifts that I can give to other people through this own knowledge and the fucking responsibility I have to take within myself to do it for myself um, but I've really come a long way I mean from the little girl who <laughs> was just confused and abused and um, you know the acting out smart overachieving teenager to the cancer ridden and, and immune deficient 20 year old to the 30 year old trying to figure it all out and put my head back together God um, I, I've just come a long way and and the 40s are just really rocking it out it's really cool um so just acknowledging that in myself has really helped me today to move into this next thing and what came up for me last night I did um, some primal screaming and and stuff around um, uh, the word make and um, for me that was weighing me down and was a deeper layer of some crap I was holding on to and um, today what's come up around my belief system is waiting and I've realized like shit I've worked so hard for um, people and events and things and programs and this and that and um, I'm I'm still waiting I'm waiting for the payoff I'm waiting for um, the results I'm, I'm waiting I'm waiting for that um, work so hard in my own programs and my own stuff and in my own books and publishing and just just waiting I'm, I'm waiting for for um, the fulfillment the the oh to come and I'm literally waiting on a check right now so I mean, it just shows up so it, everything that I asked for has shown up so beautifully in this cleanse um, the outward affirmation of how my beliefs are creating my in my inner beliefs are creating my outward crap and that affirmation in the outside outside world and then and then the energy shifts within myself and my body is definitely releasing stuff um I don't have a scale. I haven't for a long time. Um, being a recovered scale addict, I guess I let that go. But I'm feeling this um, awareness and this this. Ah. So coming off the cleanse is the next piece. So we went into the cleanse, and um, I showed you guys that uh, I'll be coming off the cleanse the next couple days. 
I, I'm feeling really good juicing, so I think I'm going to be adding more of that because I have been having um, trouble the last couple months, maybe a year, um, getting all of my food intake in and eating enough. Um, so my body is really relaxed and knows that there's going to be more and more nutrients coming in. So I'm going to be adding more juicing back into my life, which used to be a major part of my formula. Um, that feels really good. It feels really in alignment. And I am um, going to be documenting that. We'll see how deep these things go. Things are releasing really fast. I spent the last two months in, in a big um, program around mindset. I do a lot of EQ work, emotional intelligence work, and that's been really my focus in education the last year to um, really work and, and train the coaches in the Your Own University program to utilize emotional intelligence to help um, their clients in whatever area of their life they require. So that's really cool. Um, and so this awareness within me is really, really deep and really good. I had uh, some pretty major feelings uh, in my meditation, um, but it actually has been kind of challenging to to connect um, to my higher self or my wisdom self, um, my soul I've been feeling really connected to um, as a whole, really anchored, really... Um, balanced in my whole energetic physical and emotional body and, and mental body um, really really balanced there as far as my soul but hard for me to connect in my heart to my higher self to my um, intuit kind of psychic self that resonates with what I'm supposed to do next however my inner child has been doing a lot of cleansing and a lot of speaking so uh, little Lisha is definitely um, definitely let go of a lot of weight on her shoulders on my shoulders um that's really it for today i'll i'll keep you posted i'll post you tomorrow uh, it's really beautiful um so another thing that we want to ask the importance of words right so words are so important we talk a lot about it that in the amazing you program i talk a bit about it in the you matter club um with our, your daily habits but words are really, really important. And the word weight, I want to lose weight. Um, and the word weight, I have to wait, <laughs> are, are the same tone, are the same word, even though it's spelled differently. So when looking at releasing weight or gaining weight, um, it's important to look at the wholeness of, of that word in the English language. Um, I'm not sure about other languages. If you're from someplace else and you use another word for weight and they are two distinct words and that's not a case for you. But for us over here, we need to think about that when we're thinking about um, the power of our words and the vibration of our words weight and weight are the same thing. So the weight, we, things weighing you down, weight on you, and waiting, weight. Um, and, and were you told that you have to wait? I know I was, just wait, just wait, your time will come, just wait, just wait. Like, fuck that is what I'm saying today. Lots of tapping going on with that today. <sighs> and um, also that celebration I needed yesterday for acknowledging, now I can acknowledge, you know, I do have patience and I have a lot of acceptance. Um, and, and so that's something that, that I've worked on, I've trained on and, and God's trained me on and I can, I can acknowledge that in myself and trust myself to carry that forward. Um, so really acknowledge yourself for where you are, acknowledge yourself for where you want to be, acknowledge what is weighing you down, and I would say at this pace, today for mindset work, maybe ask what you're waiting on. What are you waiting on and how do you feel about your waiting on it and, and allow yourself to really feel it. Sometimes it's easy to feel like, oh, I'm pissed off, blah, 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 I wish things would change, but then that change is hard to feel, that desire is hard to feel, the, um, the deeper emotions is hard to feel. And um, 
So allow yourself to go as deep as you possibly can today. And if you need support around this, you know that I'm here. I do work with people one-on-one -on -one, and uh, this is my calling. I absolutely love it. Um, as a holistic health coach, as a holistic health trainer of coaches and, and yoga instructors, I, I <laughs> my mission is to um, help you, guide you to come home to yourself, your whole self, and put the pieces of your life back together and um, really express who you are in the world, however that looks for you. And I do that through, through coaching and through teaching and um, through books, obviously. I have my books and I have my training programs and I have my online programs and all that stuff too. So um, it's so simple. For so long, I made it so complicated. What do you do? What do you do? And how do you do it? And it's always been the same thing, but I didn't know how to explain it. But I'm here to help you come home. I'm, I'm here to help you to stop the cycle of abuse and feel comfortable in your skin again and express your authenticity and your truth and your beauty in the world so that is carried on through the next generations and um, really reframe that for for humanity <laughs> which is a big fucking deal but I think that's why this training started for me when I was so young and became a, an awareness for me at the age of 13 so <sighs> um, I am have a client. I have a client right now, so I'm going to go do that. Thank you for being a part of this, and uh, feel free to ask questions, make comments, join me, and if you haven't already, join the You Matter Club at yourownuniversity.com. Your first week is a buck. You'll start entering in this journey, get access to the master classes that are there and the ones that are coming up. And then after that, it's $14.97 a month, so it's the most affordable personal development, self-help, growth. Um, really realistic place that um, you're going to get online. Bye.